How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. We have to talk about battery life in iOS 16, because this is definitely the biggest and major complaint and problem and issue in iOS 16 for all iPhone models. It's natural that we have bug problems, that we have compatibility issues. That's okay, that's normal, it always happens. But what we're seeing with iOS 16 related to battery life is something pretty much unheard of when we're talking about iOS. I'm gonna explain you why this is not an isolated thing, why this is happening to most iPhone users. And of course, I'm also gonna talk about, and this is definitely the most important part of the video, what you should do. So what can you do to maybe not fix the problem 100%, but you maybe make it less worse, okay? So, let's talk about that. Okay, so first things first, you gotta understand that it's completely normal and expected that after a major software update like iOS 16, we have slight problems with performance when you're talking about battery. So, it's okay that we get battery issues, battery drains, and that battery life is not as it used to be. As I said, that's okay, and it has always happened in iOS 15, 14, 13, 11, every single time this happens. And this is a normal phenomenon, pretty much because of re-indexing. So it's a normal thing that right after you go ahead and update to a major software version, like iOS 16, that your iPhone will have to re-index a ton of files and data and do a bunch of background work that we don't see but it's normal and it has to happen. But the thing is, generally this re-indexing takes like a few days, maybe a week. And the problem is we have passed that time. So it's been weeks since iOS 16 has been released and battery problems are still going on. They continued and they didn't get any better. They're still here we're still having battery problems. And please keep in mind that when I'm saying battery problems, I'm also talking about overheating. I've had so many iPhone users telling me about overheating as well. And I'm saying this based on the comment section here on YouTube, on all my videos, and mainly on Instagram as well, as I get a ton of DMs of people complaining every single time. We even have research that over 60% of iPhone users after updating to iOS 16, are having major problems with battery life, with battery as a whole. And again, this is not 100%, it's not everyone, maybe your battery is okay, but for most iPhone users, this is a big thing. And to make things a little bit worse, Apple apparently is not saying clearly that they know what the issue is, they are not saying they are aware of the issue, or anything like that. As a matter of fact, Apple has released iOS 16.0.2 and they didn't mention any battery fix and we didn't have anything related to the battery in iOS 16.0.2, meaning that we have absolutely nothing from Apple. Not a statement, not a fix, absolutely nothing. So this is a very complicated situation right now because we can't even downgrade to iOS 15 anymore. So Apple has assigned all versions of iOS 15, meaning that you just can't go back. If you are on iOS 16, you just can't go back to any version of iOS 15 at all. You can download, but if you go to iTunes and you try to downgrade, it's unsigned, so you can't go back. So, in the end of the day, what can you actually do? And I have two very important recommendations in this video right here on how you can at least make the problem a little bit less worse, let's say. So, first things first, and the most important thing that you have to do from now on is always check for software updates. Even though Apple hasn't said anything, even though Apple hasn't addressed the issue in iOS 16.0.2, they know. They know about the issue and they are trying to fix it right now, I'm sure of that. So if not on the next version of iOS 16, maybe the next after that, Apple will definitely try and fix battery life. And this is literally the only way to fix this. There's no way we can fix the battery problems in iOS 16, just Apple can do it. So always have a look at software updates on your iPhone and always check here my videos on Daniel Ball Tech. Make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon because every single software update that Apple releases, I make a video here on the channel explaining you 
everything about that software update. So when all the next versions come up, I'll have videos explaining you and if there are battery fixes, I will tell you. And on top of that, while we're waiting, because right now there's pretty much nothing we can do but wait for new versions, as I said, I do recommend that you check out this video that I have here. I'll also put a link in the description where I give you all of my tips to save a ton of battery life in iOS 16. I have a dedicated video just for saving battery life in iOS 16. It's already here, it's already live on the channel. Go ahead and check out that video because those tips will help you squeeze 30 more minutes or one more hour a day of your battery life and it will help you a lot. Again, it won't fix the problem, but it will help you so much while we all wait for the actual fix, which as I said, only Apple can give, all right? So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to explain you what's going on, that this is an issue, that you're not alone, that we're all in the same boat here, and that we have to wait, and let's see what Apple has for us, okay? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye.